it's Monday, new week, new opportunities. I know it's very cliche to say that, but nevertheless, last night I actually did manage to really push myself and edit, edit and upload the video. Um, and I'm really proud of myself for that because you know, the way I pushed myself to do it last night, trust me, that was not easy. So let me just share some morning mantra with you guys and explain how I pushed myself into doing things, into do, doing that thing when I did not feel like it. So the way I think about this is that, you know, anybody can put in the work when they feel like doing so. That is not what differentiates between a successful and an unsuccessful man because anybody can put in the work when they feel like doing so. It is these specific moments where you don't feel like putting in the work, where you are tired, your brain says, ah, oh, maybe do it tomorrow, man. Just postpone it for one day. It's okay, we'll do it tomorrow. But no, even though that may not seem like a big deal there and then, but trust me, it breaks that um, streak of discipline. And when you break that streak of discipline, that is when it starts becoming a habit uh, to you know break that streak of discipline. Because in any time, like next time, you also are in the same situation where you feel like postponing something or just not doing it because you don't feel like it, you will think the same thing. That, you know what? It's just one day. Let's just skip it. It's okay. We'll do it tomorrow. No. It's all about building that habit. You know, the idea of telling your brain that it's not okay to skip it no matter what. So you have to put in the work because it's, it's these moments which you really, really, really differentiate um, success from not success. And obviously there is a disclaimer as well. There is a fine line between, you know, being super disciplined and ruining your mental health because if you feel that it's taking a toll on you mentally, then obviously it's not worth it and at these moments you have to like break that streak of discipline because mental health is just so, so important. So I had two weeks in internal medicine and the first week is over where I was at infectious diseases. So from today, like this entire week, I will be at gastro. I will be at the same place, but I will be basically, you know, looking at gastro cases. UD. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Import. From South America. Alright guys, so we just had lunch. Um, and the one thing that has really surprised me are the size of the avocados over here. The avocados are freaking massive, man. They're massive. I've never seen these big, like so big um, avocados. Here we have Caliango. Caliango. Cal is his name? Caliango. Yeah, yeah. Just met him today at the gastro rotation. Okay, so I was at the lecture hall because some of the students were supposed to like present a case um, to the other students, I'm just like the normal clinical groups that we also have. Uh, but due to some logistical reasons, the doctor could not show up and now the presentation is postponed till uh, the day after tomorrow. So in other words, I'm basically done for the day. So the first day at gastro is now over and it was actually a pretty, pretty solid day, you know, because um, compared to the, 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 inf the first day of infection, because the the diseases that we saw in the infection like HIV you know TB malaria these are the things which I normally do not see that much in Norway so I had read about these in like books but I, I, I didn't have a strong memory of what you know goes on with these diseases how you how you treat them the management the symptoms etc however here in gastro like today we got to see patients with you know hcc like hepatocellular carcinoma you know like uh, liver cancer basically um po portal hypertension and um other things like you know um esophagus es esophagus varices, varices um what other stuff do we see yeah we ascites like tons of stuff which we already have uh, have seen like in norway as well so i knew like the background information about these diseases a lot you know so it was easy for me to easy for me to you know catch up as well so right now it's 2 30 p.m i'm gonna head back home and i don't know what i'm gonna do today um it's gonna be a pretty spontaneous day so let's see what the day brings actually oh i fell asleep and like i completely passed out just woke up oh it's already 5 p.m i have no idea what to do now because is there a point in going out now? Maybe I should just go out and have some food. Mm. Just gonna have a little bit of ubuyu, you know, the candy or like the berries that I bought yesterday. So I bought like half a kg of the ananas flavor. Mm. Mm. It's so different, man. Mm. It's really nice, it's really nice, you know, like a 
like a snack when you're when you're hungry but don't want to eat something but like just like for example if you're studying and you just want to have something to you know have something to eat just like nuts you know it's a very nice very very tasty snack i woke up with a headache like at the at the back of my head and like the uh, neck region. I don't know what the reason could be. Maybe because I'm hungry, but it does, that doesn't make sense because I still um, did have food in the hospital. I had like proper lunch. I got fully. So yeah, I don't know. I have this headache, and uh, initially the plan was to head out and eat, but I might just end up ordering a takeaway because you don't feel like doing anything when your head hurts. And actually, as a matter of fact, one of you guys asked me or commented on one of my previous vlogs that why do I not make food at home by myself? why am i always ordering takeaways you know i rarely i have actually never ordered a single takeaway in norway but now that i'm here i have been here for like almost like 11 12 days i have been ordering takeaway like every single day and what exactly is the reason behind it to be very honest i don't know i mean i think i'm just too lazy or too preoccupied not preoccupied i, I wouldn't say i'm busy but i'm lazy to cook my own food over here because you know in order to cook food over here i need to do some like tons of groceries i need to go buy tomatoes onions or chilies and yeah, coriander um you know like the spices the masala for my food i need to go buy chicken meat um rice and stuff like that and i don't know if i if i am too like lazy to do that even though doing that would be much easier on my budget because obviously cooking your own food is much cheaper than ordering takeaways all the time uh, but I don't know, man, I really should stop being that lazy and also it's about health as well, you know, eating outside every single day is not good for your health. I mean, it's, it's takeaway after all, it's junk food, most of it. So actually, I don't have any other reason than the fact that I'm just very lazy. And by the way, it's not that I'm bad at cooking. Honestly, I'm a really good chef. I, I love to cook and I'm really good at, good at it as well, you know, I have, I have, there are dishes like, you know, karai, chicken karai, which is like a curry, a chicken curry, or uh, like a beef, or like, uh, sorry, uh, a mutton curry. Um, I, it's actually famous in you know amongst all my friends my, my, amongst family uh, they love how I make curry like curry um, so I'm actually a pretty good chef I'm trying to be you know not trying to do boast about myself but it's the fact it's a fact uh, it's just that I'm lazy over here and that's the reason why I'm not be cooking food by myself <laughs> I'm just filming a bit okay perfect I'm at 36 yes Here we go just got my subway and subway has actually been in my staple diet like ever since i was 12, 12. it's like one of my favorite take favorite takeaways so i ordered two foot longs which i will be having for tomorrow as well like for lunch most probably but my headache it's still there a little bit better but it's still there man um it really annoys me you know i hate having a headache because i'm not one of those people who can tolerate a headache when i have a headache i really become a boozy boozy I <laughs> So I don't know if you guys remember this, but I think I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs that I got like lumbago and lumbago is basically lower back pain um, from like, let's say for like standing for too long. So we, when we have like ward rounds, I get pain in my lower back and the best remedy in my case is to stretch out those lower back muscles and you know, decrease the tension in the muscles. And I do that by doing these stretches. Um, I have like a routine which I follow. I've been like following this for a long time. Uh, and it really helps for my lower back pain. Okay, so I'm done with my stretching routine and now I'm just going to jump into the shower and call it a day and start editing this very vlog. And yeah, nothing special really happened today, but that's the exact point. You know, that's, ex that's exactly the thing I want to show to you guys, my daily life. This is not like a vacation series, not like a, it's not like a travel vlog. It's more about my daily life here in Tanzania and how the medical elective is going to be. The thing is, not it's, like, it's not like every day exciting things happen in my life here either. So yeah, it's just a daily vlog and how what I do in my daily life. I hope you guys enjoy these. And yeah, here's a link to all the other episodes in this Tanzania elective series. That's it guys for day 12. Stay tuned for day 13.